These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. Holy shit, that's awesome! Plus 10% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of target's remaining HP. And so it should be like basic, advanced, superior, and uh, something after, I think? But holy shit, I can't... Um, like 15% will probably be the last level. Passable is human with hidden behind their armor and death. Alien features in orange blood of admin reveals more sinister pedigree. Despite the heavier ornamentation on their battle armor, you know, that's very square. Uh, the bodies of Advent officers are indistinguishable from our regular troop saves for a thick red scar on the back of their skulls. Uh, sectoid corpse. Expired sectoids tend to shrill and curl in on themselves like spiders. Uh, ugh. Regaining some likeness to the smaller, more feral creatures that we faced in the first war. FPS just dips like hell. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. Oh, service. okay, that's Shen. You were probably I swear to God, there was a Shen last time. Oh. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be it's okay to fall asleep. what I can do. I mean, it's 2 a.m. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of this stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with the med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. Yeah, no shit. All right, one second. Sorry. Just one second. Okay. Yep, yep. I'm on it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. Yeah, I'm going. Oh. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. Oh, no, man. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip. 
and plant it into your skull. My analysis reveals that I feel like I know his voice actor. Was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to Whoa. your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Paraxis Practical on his thing. Simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the gene therapy clinic okay. in Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Yep, yep. Don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. No more dialogue? Okay. Uh, alien biotech, codenamed Nano. Uh, new facility available, advanced warfare center, sectoid autopsy, Advent officer autopsy. With little time to prepare, we were forced to conduct an extremely invasive procedure on the commander in order to remove what appeared to be an implant carefully and meshed with the occipital lobe. Although all indications were that the device was not designed for removal, concerns as to the commander's potential longevity and risk of possible remote manipulation by aliens left us with little alternative. Despite my concerns, the commander has far, so far felt no lasting effects from the procedure and appears to be recovering ahead of expectations. As for the chip itself, my initial findings are alarming, to say the least. The device is psionically driven by the latent energy of the subject's brain. In this case, the commander, more importantly, it appears the device functions as both a transmitter and receiver, re relaying information via some form of psionic link. Even after removal, I've had to shield the device to contain the residual psionic field surrounding the implant itself, for fear it might be cap uh, for fear of what it might be capable of. If my theory is correct, the commander may have played a more important role in Advent's operations than we could possibly imagine. Our Tiger- Oh my god, could he have been the commander of Advent for a while? Obviously I'm going for- oh. Yeah, obviously I'm going for this. Uh, aside from the variety of fascinating genetic enhancements found in Advent Troopers, the officers appear augmented further with some kind of biomechanical implant. I believe this allows for some form of communication through the alien hierarchy. If we were to somehow tap into this system, I wonder what we might hear. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent Trooper, in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Really gross. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Yeah, can I get sign- Oh, right, you have to do it via missions and shit, probably. Yeah, I already read that, but... Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Alright. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Bang, med kit. Nothing else. Actually, I want to kind of read the med kit. Med kit contains a pressurized solution that, when exposed to air, acts as a sealant and insulator. Used with painkillers and antiseptics, the med kit can treat wounds in a variety of adverse conditions, including burns and poison. Ah, well, we'll need it for the vipers, probably. 
We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. I like that. Just it's not bar. much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. And the two tutorial soldiers. I wish I could just get rid of them. So you can't just go up and down the list. So I don't really forget, you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, their dates of birth. Never ever recruiting you. God, that's such a terrible beard. Their hairs look plastic. Oh god, it's even worse on this guy. Actually, yeah, how many soldiers do I have? This could be okay, it's not that worrying. So yeah, you know that when I'm finished with the stream, I will be editing these characters and giving them names. Edkit. Um, I do like to color. Whoa, lots of options. Holy shit. Um, I don't know what TB was saying when he said there was no pink. Shit, what are you, what are Red Cross, but... I need to think about my this game for a minute. I mean, the, you know, I'm gonna give him white because I plan to make her a medic, but the hackers, I don't know what I'll do. limited color scheme. White and gray, probably? Yeah. I like to call them, though I know immediately upon choosing them, who I have picked. Grenadier. Obviously going to be red here. Not the right thing. Yeah, I like this red. And, uh, yellow, maybe? Black. Eh, red and gray. I'll go for it. And loadout. Cannon. Sharpshooter, I 
cannot remember what I used to do for him, but I used to, I think it used to be like a stealthy kind of thing, whereas now they're much different, so I think I'm going to go with, like, no, green's a basic bitch soldier, um, purple used to be for my stealth, so I'm running out of colors here. I really don't want to do, well, you know what? blue. Blue and, uh, well, guess again. Can't customize it yet. And the thing is, I'm having a you stealth. I wonder if there's a silencer potential, you know? Main armor color. Purple. Oh, let's see the other purple. Kind of like 43. Now I'm gonna go with 43, and secondary armor color didn't even look like one. I hate the hat thing. No, I'm gonna go with a much darker color here. And please allow me to get rid of the ball cap. Because that is just dumb. Done. Recon hoodie. Eh, yeah. Alright. Oh. Okay, okay. Classic. And then I'm gonna not do all this right now. Uh, rookies, you get. Alert. Green. So at first goddamn glance, I know you are a rookie. Because I mean, seriously? do not want to... Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't particularly matter, but um, in certain other types of games, you don't want the split second, you know, time it takes to, like, recognize what a unit is. If you can literally just color code it, it makes it um, so much more simplistic. You'll almost instantly, like, recognize it because of the, uh, color... Shit, what's the word I am looking for right now? Color... What country is that? That's UK English, but... Um... Color recognition, I guess. It's like a, you recognize the patterns, you know? Like, oh. Uh, association. Understood. Association. Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Let's be real. 
real here. They probably should have warned some people. Seriously, they probably should have warned the people. Yeah, we're taking Setting off. course for Sector 1, the Arctic. We're ready to start making Wait, moves, Commander. Arctic? By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. Woe well, is right. Doctor Christian Blah. Operation Knife Hand. There's a, that's a dumb operation name. Oh god, it's FPS. Uh, I meant... Oh. One with a nuke? Oh, man. Yeah, we'll try you. Alright, this seems good. 